me and Curtis are just going up to Nuji for the Arvo on the bikes. Stop by the pub for lunch, I think. Yes. Curtis taking the WR, got the Tenere. Bloody perfect day for a ride. 22, yes, 23. Nice. Bit of wind. So, probably go through the back way up through near him south, through the bush, and pop out at the top side of Nuji and come back in and see what we find. Rattle. Oh, look at this bloke working. <laughs> oh, hey, isn't that what you're supposed to be doing today? Should be. It's holidays. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Curtis, we're finally hit the dirt. Where are we going? Yeah, you're alright, keep going. I'm just filming you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paid by Morocco 30 to advertise those socks, Curtis. Pretty much. How good are they? They're bloody beautiful. The Morocco 30 Merino socks uh, have to be one of life's little bloody treasures. My everyday go to. <laughs> yeah, they are. I literally wear them nearly every day for work. They are put. They're so good. Yeah. Highly recommend them. Good. And I highly recommend buying a Yamaha motorbike and getting out in the bush too. Oh yeah, they're pretty bloody good as well. <laughs> uh, Yamaha.com.au and uh, Break30.com.au, eh? <laughs> ah. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you go? It was bloody good fun. Keep going, keep going down here. Yeah. Lunch had, Nergy Pub. Good feed, Blinky. Pretty bloody good. Full as a good. Yep. Pants don't fit me too well now. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying, every time you ride here, you feel good, and then you, after you've eaten, you just got a bloody puff home because you just want to explode. Yeah. Probably didn't need that sticky day pudding. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Definitely didn't need it, but anyway. It was good. Right, eh? Let's hit, hit the road. Just heading up into the waterfalls, up and the Falls to have a bit of a look. Sleep off lunch maybe. Oh, 
Well, Tenere's not made for jumping. <laughs> like a big bus flying through the air. Oh. How you going, alright? Sorry, I'm making a bit of dust. Yeah, just take it easy. I'm just being a dick. That's right, you got it. Oh fuck, ABS, 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 ABS. Oh, does it go on? Oh, this does. Yours doesn't have it. No. You're supposed to turn this one off, but I always forget because you've got to do it while you're stationary. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully, we're going the right way. What? Oh, yeah. Fold you. Yeah, it only goes left. I think it was just a fire tray, I think. <laughs> Jesus, that's freaking steep. Yeah. See if I can. It's not too bad. No, no. Keep going. I'll follow you for a bit. box on that WR is so much nicer than this tenor, eh? Yeah. Hey. I do like it. Plenty taking it gingerly, but yeah. <laughs> do you not feel as confident standing? Uh, I don't know. I think my arms are a bit low. Just try squatting a bit more, bend your knees a bit and just... Yeah. Try and squat into it a little bit because... Just didn't absorb a lot of all the bumps a lot better because you kind of yeah. flex at the knee. While you're standing on, on your corners, on a left turn, put all your weight on your left peg, and on your right turns, put all your weight on your right leg. Okay. And you'll find it'll sort of, it just helps track around the corner easier. Yeah. And you're kind of oh, getting all your weight to the inside of the corner, and the, the bike can stand upright a bit more. Yeah. Blood yeah, warms you up, doesn't it? As soon as you get off the road, like this, you got to concentrate like a hundred percent. Oh yeah. That's why everyone loves rock bike riding because, as my old mate Million Dollar Bogan says, when you're riding like this, you can't be worrying about other shit. You have to be 110 percent committed to staying upright. Yeah. So all your stresses in the world fucking disappear. Go this way, because that. Good. Yeah. Having a ball. Yeah, you buying a motorbike? Yep. Yeah. Aaron, guess what? <laughs> Sick. Alright, oh, keep going. Jesus. 
can't see a thing. Sideways. <laughs> Man, your speed's increased ten times over sitting down by standing up. Yeah. You just you can you can just control the bike and suck up all the bumps so much better. Yeah. Whoa, well, this is full on, huh? Yeah, just slow down, man. It gets steep. Slow right up, right up, down to first, yep. put it in first, or s stop on that hump and start again. Stop and start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whew. That's a good yeah. one. So, this, is, this isn't as bad as the other way. And the other way's got real bad rights. So you're just going first, just, just like literally, get on the back brake though, you need your foot on your back brake lightly, not locking it up. Just, just, like 60 on your front, 40 on your rear. Yep, okay. Just literally just engine braking the whole way down. Just stay the same speed. You're locked. More on the front, a little bit more on the front. You're getting up, you're getting up way too much speed. You, okay. And your back's sliding. You need to stop it spinning. Okay. Just, but, but you should hear the engine braking. Oh, yeah, neutral, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help me. Like, like, why is it accelerating? I don't feel like this is fucking <laughs> Yeah. That's... Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. It didn't look right. You just kept locking it up and then accelerating down the hill. Like, oh, yeah, slow down. I was trying to fend the brakes as nice as possible, but yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Good shit. All right, let's hit that. We're just about to hit that trail back along the river there. Hi. Oh, I'm gonna open some vents. Yeah, I know. It's getting hot. Yeah. Just giving her to go on the big girl. to go on the big girl. He looks good on it. Looks real good on it. Hey. I said you look good on it. Might be the new purchase. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. See what I mean oh. about big and heavy? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just take it easy, yeah. don't bloody. Sitting down on it feels wrong. <laughs> yeah, because you've got a huge screen and that, that tower in front of you, you're kind of not used to. Well, that thing's probably close to 225, 230 odd kilos. Yeah. This is about 130, so it's 100 kilos more than this. Yeah, right. Just get that trust in it. <laughs> yeah. You find once you get up to it, you actually use your rear to steer you a lot. Yeah. Right. You sort of just drift in the back, around. drift in the back around. Yeah. Yeah. But this, oh, I'm surprised how much better this is just by raising those bars a little bit. The other day I felt like I was really crouching over, as now I'm kind of... Yeah, he just... Oh, oh, fuck, you hit him! Oh, man, straight over his head. Uh, Slow. No! Oh, jeez. Fuck! Oh, he's buggered. Oh, hang on, no, he's up. Oh, he's not great. Oh, he's off. Yeah, he's, he's recovered. Oh, good. Oh, sweet. He was. I think he was out of it, and he come good. Oh, whoo! Man, that was bad. Felt terrible. Yeah. Thank God he's all right. He was out of it, and he started moving as I was going back, and he was upside down. He rolled over, walked a few steps, and then once I got closer, bang, he was off. He was fine. 
Oh, shit. I can't move with this. Nah, you just got to go through it. There's nothing you could have done. You done well not to stack. That was a, they're pretty big. It was a cup, it was a meter and a half probably. So, you know the best thing? Oh, no. We got some footage, Linky. Uh, <laughs> Clutch throw is just different on this one. Huh? It's, yeah, it's right at the end, that one. It takes it a little bit different. Wow, this feels so much smaller. Doesn't it? Once you get off this or that, it's a totally different beast. God, I've never really considered going as running out in front of you, but. Bloody in a couple hundred meters, yeah. yeah. Just remember this blue shit is like ice. Yeah. So just... I actually really hit a fox on this road. Coming up here, a fox crossed in front of me. Bloody. It was the oh, red, really? reddest fox I've ever seen. It was awesome. So Blinky, how's the motorbike going? Oh, I think I got my new toy. <laughs> It never gets old, does it? Love it! And you probably haven't ridden. Ah, damn it! That was rocks to Lord Pepper me. Um, <laughs> how long has it been since you've ridden, you reckon? Uh, probably like five years, probably, on the road. Yeah. Think. You still pick it up pretty good, hey? Yeah. Just getting their confidence back on the dirt. Yeah. Up the inside. Oh shit, have a shot. Keep it straight. <laughs> <laughs> Bit messy. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not this or that one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the this is the motorbike car park. Oh yeah. Stage. Oh, here's your. Oh, no, this is the XR bloody trail bike. Do you bring your cat in the, or dog in the back of the bike? Yeah, dog in the back, yeah. Get out. Get little XR 190. Alright, how are you feeling? Give it a shot. Give it a shot. The big girl through the bush. Hey. The big girl goes right through the bush. Alright. Oh, no. Let's hit the trail home. Back the way you came. Not say that one. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was right behind you, and your body blocked the big log that was there, and oh, I just God. about ran straight over it. <laughs> oh yeah! Living the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that WR go! Up the hill! <laughs> well, that's about it. Back on the bitumen. Had a quick stop in at uh, Hiram South Bakery for a cheeky vanilla slice. <laughs> oh yeah. And uh, a bloody drink. We are both harsh as. Well, that's just about it. End of the trip, Blinky. How'd you enjoy it? Bloody brilliant. <laughs> Loved it. Oh, awesome. Best fun ever. Oh, it was a good little, perfect day for it. it was Enough wind to keep it cool. No trees blowing up the track. Yeah, it was a bit of wildlife. 
Hopefully you've seen that earlier in the footage, but uh, yeah, we're going to go home and have a look and see how it, Make sure how it looked on the video, but it was pretty fine by what I've seen get up and run off. He didn't look like he had any broken arms, legs or tails or anything, so I think he just got knocked and stunned or something, so, but no. Bikes did bloody brilliant. Good day. The old WR250R and the Tenere. Yeah. It's a, done it again. Always come home running, not like the KDM. Every time you ride the KDM home, it's bloody back to Peter Stevens to buy some more parts for the bloody thing. But anyway, nah, can't complain. Hopefully one of the next videos I'll do is on the uh, KDM 500. I've just put a 20 litre tank on it so I can do a day ride like this, so. Just been paid 400 bucks. Exactly. Oh, have I? <laughs> My notifications are going to your thing. 400 bucks, oh beautiful, that's always good. <laughs> Earn money while we ride motorbikes, Curtis, that's what I'm feeling like every single part of me is beating. My chest will blows my mind. Now I'm dreaming. There's always one last stop on the way home. You can't ride past BTF without stopping in for a look. <laughs> and then you just walk out disappointed because you've got everything right out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>